Alright, today what I was going to do uh, was record an assembly video of this U-Trax TX-185. Uh, it also goes by the model number of X2. It's a utility cart that you haul behind your garden tractor, your lawn tractor, your ATV, that type of thing, okay? It received decent reviews, uh, except for the fact that a lot of people said that the uh, instructions on assembly were pretty much lacking. So I thought I would go ahead and record an assembly video, but you can see that it arrived to my home in just pristine condition. Thank you, UPS. You guys do a great job. This is pride right here. Pride in your work. Anyways, I may be missing parts. I may have to contact you tracks and get missing parts, but I'm going to first perform a full inventory on all the parts. Uh, so we may not be putting this thing together today, but I still plan on uh, making the video. So this is just the intro, I guess. Okay. Good job, UPS. You guys rock. All right. Right here. All right, so it looks like we lucked out. No thanks to UPS. Uh, we have all the parts. You can see some of them are pretty well banged up. Um, you know, it doesn't concern me. It's a utility card after all. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get banged up, but nobody likes to pay full price for something that looks used already, all right? Uh, I've got all the bolts laid out. These are all the same diameter. These are all the same diameter. Uh, left to right, longest to shortest, okay? So this is where people are having a hard time uh, in the installation, I think. The book basically gives you a little parts breakdown and then kind of expects you to know which bolts are which. Uh, you need a 10 millimeter and 13 millimeter wrenches. You can use sockets. You need a 20 millimeter for the axle nuts. And then uh, you also need a grease gun because they didn't actually grease the wheel bearings. Now I'm going to try to cheat and use an air ratchet. But again, all you really need are wrenches. It actually specifies two 13s, two 10s, and uh, 20 millimeter. But obviously easier with a ratchet. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with uh, two of these bolts here, and we're going to attach the side of the cart together. Okay, let me get the tripod. All right, let's get started here. Okay, I'm going to start by grabbing two of these bolts here. These are the smaller diameter bolts, of which there are six. I'm going to take two nuts, and I'm going to take four washers, okay? Now, this part here is not indicated in the instructions you only can see, you know, that, that you need four washers in the parts breakdown. So there's a little bit of confusion there. I can see where people, you know, get confused, okay? And that's because we're going to need a washer on each side of these uh, rails. Okay, let me uh, set the camera down. All right, start by putting a washer on the uh, bolt itself. Place the bolt through the hole. Washer. And then lock nut, and it's important to know that it's a lock nut because you're only going to be able to finger tighten it so far, uh, and that's to prevent that from vibrating loose, okay? And I am going to uh, use my air ratchet as much as possible. Obviously, if you don't have an air ratchet, you could just use a, a ratchet or possibly a couple of wrenches. Um, this is just to speed things up, okay? I'm not going to show you the other side. It's going to be the same. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to keep this loose. And the other side loose until we get the bottom ones in as well. And I'll tighten all four down, and you know, at, afterwards. Alright, so I have both uh, side bolts in. I'm going to take these longest bolts here in the smaller diameter. Again, two nuts and four washers. Okay, and these are going to go... On the bottom rail, this bottom rail is a little bit wider, so the bolts need to be a little longer. Let me set the camera down. Okay, we're going to again start by putting a washer on the bolt. Slide the bolt through. This is why I left the sides a little bit loose, because you may need to slide this back and forth. Another washer. And then a lock nut. And finger tighten. I'm going to do the same in the other hole and then we'll tighten them down. Okay, I'll tighten down the two sides now. Alright, so we have uh, four bolts holding these two pieces together. I don't need this anymore. Okay, next we're going to mount these axle mounting plates. Okay, 
The uh, top portion, what well, looks like the bottom now, takes these smaller lengths, smaller diameter uh, bolts. We need four nuts, four washers, that'd be four. Let's go ahead and uh, get them mounted, okay? We're just gonna start by mounting the top, which now looks like the bottom, but obviously it's upside down, so they go here. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so these axle mounting plates go like this. And the bolts we're using go right here. I'm just gonna kinda get one started, let it swing down here. And then we're gonna use a washer and a lock nut. These bolts actually seem a little long, but they are the shortest uh, length bolts that are provided. I don't really like that because I tend to either catch things on them or cut myself, so I will probably cut them off. Um, especially where they have lock nuts, there's no need to have any extra length on them. Uh, so I'll cut them off right just past the nut once we get down. We'll take a look at it, okay? I don't need that universal anymore. <laughs> All right, let me get the other side uh, to the same point and then we'll move on to these top ones. All right, so I have uh, the top portion of each axle plate in place. Now we're gonna take these four bolts here, again, the small diameter, four nuts and four washers, all right? Let's go ahead and uh, get that uh, bottom portion of the axle mounting plate tightened down. All right, again, it's just the bolt, then the washer, then the nut. All right, so so far we have uh, these two pieces hooked together. We've got both of the axle plates mounted, and we're moving on to some of these pieces. We're gonna take these two pieces here, okay? And you'll notice that this one's got two holes, this one's got two holes. We're gonna take the larger diameter bolts, the longest ones, okay? And we need uh, two nuts and four washers, okay? All right, what you want to do is line these up like this, and you notice this one's got this latch on the top. I'm going to roll that sideways, roll that sideways. Okay, we're going to take a bolt washer, come down through. <coughs> Same with the other one. Washer, lock nut. And you'll need to switch to your 13 millimeter um, wrenches or socket or whatever you're using. Uh, we were using 10 millimeter before. Okay, let's go ahead and crank those down. move on to the next piece all right so we're going to move on to this uh this axle piece here okay now i am just going to mention that i went out of order <coughs> a little bit just because it was easier to uh, film i'm going to take this middle size single larger diameter bolt one washer and one nut okay and what i mean it was easier to uh film it's because i wanted to flip this piece sideways and actually it needs to be like this okay now if i flipped it sideways we had that axle on it i guess i could have hung it off the end but it was just easier for me to do this part first and film it okay let's go ahead and bolt up the axle all right so make sure your latch is up still okay it's gonna go like this Let's see if i can get it on film for you here all right i'm just gonna flip it over here so you can see it and then washer then nut. Okay. 
And again, this is the uh, 13 millimeter. <clears throat> Okay, so I'll flip this back over and straighten it out a little bit. We're going to take this piece and we're going to take this piece. The last two larger diameter bolts, washers, and nuts. Alright, so we're just going to slip this piece into here like that. Bolt. Washer. Nut. Just get it finger tightened. Okay, same thing here. Bolt. I am going to look into a <clears throat> a ball assembly for this. Um, I've had these type of uh, attachments before with this sort of hitch pin design. And it works fine for a while, but if you're going to use it over any rough terrain at all, um, this can tend to twist and bend, and actually this will round out a little bit more. So I may get the ball assembly for it, or, or try to improvise one if there's not one available. And maybe I'll do another video on that. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these ones down, and we're cranking along here. All right, let's flip this tongue over and line these uh, line the axle up with the axle plates here. Okay, we'll take a look at the axle bolts themselves. So these are going to thread in through the axle plate or the axle mount plate into this tube, and then you've got a hole here that the bolt's gonna go through, okay? So you can't maybe uh, thread it in all the way, okay? Let's see if we can get one started. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, thread the other side in so that we can kinda get it even. Okay, so what you need to do is wind this in all the way. And then we're going to back it out. So that we can get our bolt in it, okay? So let's go ahead and see if we can get that in. We need a washer and a nut. Okay, we're back to the uh, 10 millimeter also. I'm gonna have to go from the top here. Okay, it's not necessary for this to be super tight because it just prevents this axle bolt from backing out, okay? Let me hit the other side real quick. All right, let's throw the wheels on here. And again, I mentioned that these have grease zerks, which I think is a nice uh, feature. Uh, and you definitely need to grease it because there's a couple of indicators that states that these weren't greased, okay? So we're gonna do washer, castle nut. Now, here's a little frustration that people might experience. The book clearly states 20 millimeter. And this is a 20 millimeter. Doesn't fit. Okay, so there's an inaccuracy in the uh, manual. This is a 32. It's probably a 30. You can see the 32 fits, but it's real uh, sloppy. So I, my guess is that that's a 30 millimeter castle nut. Okay, 
basically you tighten it down until it's snug and then back it off is what they say and you need to make sure you can get to that uh, let me hit it with a ratchet real quick you need to make sure you can get to the uh, hole to pop the uh, carter pin in okay all right let's pop that down through there actually I'm gonna pop it up through because this is the underside thanks for watching hopefully this video has been helpful this u tracks car it seems like it's gonna be pretty nice and again I may go with a ball hitch if I go with a ball hitch um, I'll probably post another video especially if it's something I have to modify um, I don't really like the hitch pin setup and I do have a couple of a couple of balls for my four-wheeler and my, my uh, lawnmower <laughs> and uh, I think it would work better than the hitch pin but for now I may just haul it around with the hitch pin kind of show you how it works I'm gonna go ahead and throw some grease in here basically with me and grease I just keep hitting it until I see it squeezing out through okay then you know you got enough give it a couple spins hey thanks for watching give me that thumbs up if you found this video helpful and you know what if you want to send something and you don't want to damage send it FedEx okay UPS trash this thing no excuse. Um, leave questions and comments below. I'm going to post this uh, on Amazon. I'm going to leave like the title. If you came here from Amazon, leave questions or leave a comment down below so I know you came here from Amazon. I don't know if it's worth actually posting, uh, you know, that I've done this or not. So it would be helpful to know if any traffic's coming from those Amazon uh, reviews. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. All right. Have fun.